Hello physios, so today I am going to tell you how to properly stretch quadricep muscle, hamstring muscle, iliopsoas muscle and gluteus maximus muscle. So if you want to know, stay tuned and watch till the end. So let's start this video. So the first muscle that we will take is hamstring muscle. So hamstring muscle extends the hip joint and flexes the knee joint. So to stretch this muscle, I will do just opposite movement of this muscle. You can see I am flexing the hip joint now and extending the knee joint. And with my opposite hand, I am stabilizing the opposite leg of the patient so that pelvis doesn't rotate. And to sufficiently increase the flexibility of muscle, we should always give static stretching. So we should hold this stretch for at least 15 to 20 seconds and we can progress till 30 seconds. So these are effective for the, to increase the flexibility of muscle. Now here is a plus point. With hamstring stretching, you can also do calf stretching as well. With your hand, you can dorsiflex the foot to do the calf stretching. So you are doing both hamstring stretching and calf stretching. Both you can do in this. Now I will tell you stretching of quadriceps. So for this, the patient will be in prone line and the action of quadricep is to extend the knee joint and to flex the hip joint. So to stretch quadricep, I will do just opposite of these movements. I am flexing the knee joint. To properly stretch it, you have to bring the heel of the foot to the back. You have to touch the heel to the back. Now here is one important thing which you should always remember. This movement will only stretch vastus lateralis, medialis and intermedius because these all three muscles are single joint muscle. They only perform function of knee extension. But to stretch rectus femoris which is a two joint muscle, it, it also flexes the hip joint and extends the knee joint. So now I will tell you how to stretch rectus femoris. To stretch it, I will do extension extension of hip joint when i will do extension of hip joint patient will feel a very good stretch in the anterior thigh so in this way you are properly stretching the quadriceps muscles so now i will tell you how to do a stretching of iliopsoas which is prime hip flexors and also they do adduction function so for this the patient will be out of the couch, his one leg will be hanging freely and his other leg will be supported. You can see this lady is supporting her other leg. I am doing this because this way can flatten the back and it will not cause pain to the patient while I am stretching. So now to stretch the muscle, I will apply a extension and abduction force on the distal thigh. So I am applying an extension and abduction force to properly stretch the iliopsoas because it does the function of flexion and adduction of hip. So to stretch it, I will apply just opposite functions of that muscle. So now in the last, I will tell you how to stretch gluteus maximus muscle. So it does the function of hip extension, external rotation and abduction. So to stretch this muscle, I will do just opposite of all these movements. I am flexing hip joint and after flexing it, so now you can see I am externally rotating the thigh to about 20 to 30 degrees and then I am applying a flexion and a slight adduction force because if you will apply more adductive force it will give a uncomfortable squeezing sensation on the interior thigh of the patient so it will be a little uncomfortable for the patient so you have to just apply a flexion and adduction force. This method is great to stretch gluteus maximus. So while stretching any muscle, you just have to remember you have to perform just opposite movements of that muscle to stretch that muscle. Sometimes you will see that people are stretching gluteus maximus muscle like this, but I think this is not a great way because you are not recruiting all the functions of gluteus maximus. I hope this information was helpful for you all. 
so keep watching and stay tuned to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and like this video and please share your good comments thank you